This weekend is the Fête de l'Escalade, an annual commemoration of the night in 1602 when the Genevans defeated the invading Savoyards. Savoyards? Savoyards. That's the uh, inhabitants of Savoie, not the Gilbert and Sullivan fans, foiled the invading Savoys with the help of a diligent housewife and a pot of vegetable soup. I think this should be held up as an example in good housekeeping. As part of the celebration, it's traditional to smash a marmite while shouting, Ainsi périssent les ennemis de la République. Or if you're French, thus perish the enemies of the Republic. I happen to have several kinds of marmite at home. This one is a soup pot made of chocolate usually filled with marzipan vegetables and smashed by the youngest and oldest people present. <laughs> this one is British Marmite, a byproduct of beer brewing containing vitamins B1, B2, B3, and B12. It's usually spread on toast, but sometimes used to make a thin yeast-flavored soup. Mmm, vitamins. It's probably the saltiest of all the yeast spreads I've tried. As far as I can tell, it's identical to the yeast spread known as Our Mate in New Zealand. This one is New Zealand Marmite. It's also a byproduct of beer brewing used to spread on toast and make soup, except it tastes different, has iron in it, and is available in larger pots. It has to compete with the Australian yeast spread, Vegemite, which has no iron or B12 in it and gives the illusion of being more vegetarian than Marmite. In Geneva, however, the word Marmite, or Marmite, is used to describe an even larger pot, often made of iron but rarely made of B vitamins, such as one might use to cook soup or foil invading Savoyard. In military slang, it means a shell, such as one might use to foil invading Savoyard. Savoyards? Really? So when the Swiss finally discovered that they could spread the leftovers from beer brewing on their toast, they had to call it something else. To minimize the chances of having to compete with Vegemite, they chose Synovus, a name which is known in New Zealand and Australia as a brand of multivitamin. Synovus multivitamin hadn't been invented yet, but there's nothing wrong with thinking ahead. Synovus spread, which is rich in vitamin B1 but not B2, B3, B12 or iron, was added to Swiss military rations so that the soldiers would be well nourished and better able to sh shoot marmites at invading Savoyard. It is also available as a liquid for adding to the marmite if the vegetable soup doesn't have enough flavor or killing power. Synovus multivitamin contains all the B vitamins and iron plus a lot of other things that you'd be much better off getting from a pot of vegetable soup. It probably doesn't taste very good on toast. Mmm, salt.